real story of bare conductive is an evolution. When we first started, it was an electrically conductive paint, and today it's actually about the creation of a modular sensor system on almost any substrate. This is essentially just a way to control some sort of digital output. So here, it's changing some lights. We could also have it change a sound, we could have it turn on a light, or if we wanted to, we could have it uh, open a door. The funding that we received from Innovate UK was fantastic and it, it is the foundation of our success. But on top of that, the partnership that we have with Innovate UK has allowed us to open doors that we never would have opened before. It was quite a low point because we'd been working for quite a long time and then we applied for this grant and we won it. So it suddenly gave us confidence and the ability to really move forward. The project started as four students at the Royal College of Art and now we've grown to a team of nine and we hope to hire three more people this year at least. And it's been a really exciting thing to bring more people on with our vision. Because it's so community driven, it's always interesting to see where the market is driving us because of the relationship we have with our community as kind of an open R&D platform. We present our technology to a community and then we work really closely with them to understand what their applications are, what the meaning of those applications are, and uh, who the market for that might be. Now we're heading into sensing and I think there's interesting applications in different scales of sensing that I don't think we imagined initially were a possibility, but that's really exciting in terms of the R&D development. Someone's asked the question, so let's test, and that testing then actually leads us to fundamental innovation. The next set of products for us are essentially uh, derivations of the touchboard. So we're about to release a product called the PiCap, which is the touchboard sensors on the Raspberry Pi platform which will allow a very easy connection between that piece of paper and the internet. And we're going to be releasing kits around that as well. So it's good to see that there is much more in what we've developed than we initially imagined. And if that continues, then obviously it'll grow to be something quite powerful.